YouTube, Tim Unker here. In this video, we're going to install VS Code on a Windows laptop in 2024. First thing you need to do is open up a browser here, and we're going to search for VS Code. And the site code.visualstudio.com will come up. I'm going to click down here just to show you. And we're going to get this link to download for Windows. We're going to click to download. And that's going to run ahead and download. Once we download it, we can go ahead and install, and then we'll set it up. Okay, it's now downloaded. Uh, my web advisor is scanning it to make it safe. I'm going to click to open the file. And we'll have this user agreement. You'll have to accept the agreement. Click Next. Uh, it's going to give a default place to store it. I'm going to keep that as is. Click Next. Um, it's going to give you, you know, basically a, a name and the start menu. I'm going to keep it as is. Click next. Now, if you want to create a desktop icon, you can click this. You can add open with code. I'm going to add that and add open with code in the Windows Explorer directory context menu. I'll add that as well. I'll click next and install and let that run through and install. Okay, I'm going to leave this option checked to launch VS Code. So I'm going to click finish. And here we go. I'm going to right click and pin this to the task bar because I'll be using this. And I'll maximize the screen here. You can go through here, mark this stuff as done. Um, and then we can close this out. You can go down here to start adding extensions. For instance, if you're doing web development, what I like is Live Server by you know, Ritwick Day, I believe. So I can click and install that. And that'll go ahead and install that extension. Okay, there you go. Um, so you got an extension installed. You can install other extensions as well and themes and so on. One I like is, uh, you know, having this Vim emulator. I'll install that. That gives me the Vim key bindings. Cool. Now, if I go up here to the Explorer, I can open a folder and begin to work on a project. Let me just show you how to do that. So I'll click open folder. Say I want to do something in my documents. I'll create a new folder. Let's just call it test. And we'll select that folder. It's going to go ahead and ask me, do I trust the authors of this folder? I'm going to say yes. You can also check this to trust the uh, authors of all fire files in the parent folder. Um, I'm just going to say yes, I trust that. Get going and create a file here. Let's do a test.html. So I could write an HTML file here, use the shortcut there. Another cool feature about VS Code is this auto save. So it just saves automatically. This is similar to the functionality in some of the JetBrains IDEs. Uh, so I like to do that. Um, let's see here, we have a search. We can search for things and replace them. Here we have a source control for GitHub, um, which you can set up with Windows. Uh, here you have a run and debug. And of course, here we saw the extensions. Now, some extensions will add things along here. We'll see those being added depending on the extension but you're pretty much good to go with Visual Studio Code. If you want to you know, uh, mess with the settings, change the font size, those kind of things. Say I wanted the font size larger, I could do that. Make it 20, say. Or I could even change the font type. So if I go here and on my system I have Cascadia Code. So let's say I wanted to do that. Okay, now I've changed the font size. I could change the tab size, so on and so forth. You notice here now the font has increased and the font type has changed. So now you can go and begin to explore VS Code. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.